neurodiverse marriage has got so destructive, and it's understandable. The two of you are wired almost 180 degrees in opposite directions, since it's so hard to make a connection when you're on opposite ends of the spectrum. This, I know I'm preaching to the choir at this point, this marriage has been super stressful. And both parties, I'm talking about him and you, I'm not just picking on you, he's just as guilty. Both of you have adopted a victim mentality. When both parties do that, your amygdala now is on high alert. Both parties are at an unconscious level scanning for bad news. What's he, I'll use you as the example, what's he gonna say next that's gonna hurt? What's he gonna do next that makes me feel like I'm not important? What, what next thing that I need him to do is he not gonna follow through with? And he does his own version of that with different things for to you too. So now both parties are scanning for bad news, they're just kind of expecting it, and they're waiting for the, the other shoe to drop, which now you've set up a self-fulfilling prophecy because as soon as you start scanning for the next bad thing that's gonna happen, you find it quickly. And you will over-focus on it. And then when it happens, you will overreact to it. And then you will turn it into a, a memory, an emotional memory and a content memory. When think of something disastrous that happened with him that really hurt your feelings bad. You have the content memory, you remember what was said and done in that moment, but you also have an emotional memory. So every time you replay that event that was really hurtful, you also replay the emotions that you felt at that time. And even though the event, that specific event only happened once, when you keep replaying that movie, it feels like it's happened a hundred times. And this sensitizes your brain to negativity in the fullest sense of the term. You've heard the brain is plastic. You know the brain has this thing called plasticity. You're literally, literally rewiring your brain to recognize, focus, and react to the negativity at a scale much higher than what you originally did in the first year of marriage, for example. And then if that wasn't bad enough, both parties will tend to uh, unintentionally ignore the positive. They can't see the po You know, your, your husband is doing something right, but you're blinded to the, you know, he could be doing something right, but you can't even see it now. And he does the same thing with you. And as you know, if party A is negative, it brings out negativity in party B. And now party B then reinforces more negativity in party A, and you bounce back and forth and you get this synergy, this exponential effect where one plus one doesn't equal two, one plus one equals five, all of which it reinforces your need to scan for even more bad news. It reinforces your amygdala to be on even higher alert. And if this goes on for very long, guess who gets sicker? Who? Because you need to connect and process things and debrief in order to get your cortisol level down. He's over there de-escalating and decompressing by hyper-focusing on his special interests for extended periods of time. He always gets relief. And you never get relief. That's why she's the one that's always complaining about depression and fibromyalgia and rheumatoid arthritis and autoimmune disease and numerous other things because she never gets off of the cortisol hot plate. And I, this doesn't make you feel any better. I understand that. But I want you to know what the hell's going on. At the very least, maybe you will take some of these things less personally and realize, okay, well, he did that shit again. But... I'm pretty sure, based on what I know now, that was a trait. I don't think there was a malicious intent. I don't even think he knew what the hell he was doing. He didn't even know what's going on at the time. So not only was there not any malicious intent, he was totally absent. His behavior and the consequences of his behavior and how it impacts me doesn't even register in one brain cell. It was not premeditated at all. 